In order to solve a mystery linked to his days as Rick Grayson, Nightwing must take to the open seas and set sail for unknown adventure. But will these flags mean death? Or is a pirate's life really for him? Well, let's hop into the pages of Nightwing issue number 107 and find out together, shall we? So then, picking up directly from where the last issue left off, Dick had gotten picked up by the Pirates of the Cross Keys, led by the mysterious Captain Blood, who is revealed to be none other than B, aka Rick Grayson's old love interest. Which, technically after a fact, makes her Dick's old love interest too. Also, as it turns out, Captain Blood is actually a title, not B's name. We also learn in short order that B is the adopted daughter of Quartermaster, aka the last Captain Blood. Apparently the dude was quite beloved by his crew, and now that he's dead, due in no small part to Nightwing sparing the life of Tony Zuko a few arcs ago, the modern day pirates, including Lucas, B's right hand man, want to royally mess Dick up. Though, B is pretty damn quick to assuade them of these notions. After all, they might be a badass secret society of modern-day sailors and pirates, but Nightwing is, well, a superhero, and he'd ring their bell pretty quickly. To Dick's eternal credit, he sure as hell does a lot of great detective work in a very short amount of time, managing to bring together the fact that Bloodhaven is probably named such, because it was the original haven of the first Captain Blood, which would also mean that the hold in this secret society of sailors has been around basically since the very beginning. It would also explain how exactly B knew to put Rick Grayson in contact with the hold in the first place, as well as why she was a young woman with a successful bar who was helping fund homeless shelters and who even got a couple hits in on KG Beast back in the day. Captain Blood is also very quick to riddle out that of course Nightwing is none other than Dick Grayson. She also figures that Dick is only here now because he wants to know what was inside that secret package, given to him when he was a whole other person. Of course, in order to claim his prize, he's going to have to do some work, as such is the way of the hold. Everyone earns their keep. Aboard a ship and all that good nautical stuff, we learned that the hold was actually moved after Tony Zuko's original break in a couple arcs ago. And B will be more than willing to lead Nightwing to it, assuming that he's willing to help her with the transfer of power aboard the ship. You see, Quartermaster actually had a blood son one that he ended up disowning because he was such an asshole. Unfortunately for B, there are people aboard her very ship who would much rather see Dirk Blood in charge than her. This means that if Dick wants to see what was inside that box, he's going to have to essentially kidnap this guy and send him off to a country where he's already wanted for numerous crimes. Nightwing is resistant at first, but Oracle is sure to tell him that this Dirk Blood guy really is a massive asshole involved in gun running, human trafficking, and all sorts of a sordid evils. And after all, vigilante justice is vigilante justice, whether you do it in a city or on a boat. Of course, if he's going to be sailing with this group of modern-day pirates, Dick decides to upgrade his outfit a little bit. Quickly starting to look like any cover of any Harlequin romance novel, as B is quick to say too, you know we had sneakers and jeans and everything back there, right? You didn't have to look like this. Well, come on, we all know deep down in our heart of hearts, this is exactly what Nightwing had to do. It's at that moment too, Lucas ends up getting pushed overboard by some unseen individual. Dick tries to jump in and make the save, only for him to clam up in a way he's never clammed up before, which makes no sense. Nightwing is a swashbuckler in his superhero life. Why shouldn't he be so here on the high seas? What has changed inside him, or what has he repressed that's making him so afraid of water all of a sudden? Lucas is ultimately saved thanks to B jumping in and saving him, but unfortunately this means that this mission is going to get a lot harder before it gets easier, mainly because the enemy is already on board with them and they haven't even reached wherever Dirk is hiding. Still though, Nightwing remains resolute. In fact, in his internal monologue, he lets on that part of him feels bad that Rick Grayson abandoned B when he did and that he vows not to abandon her in the here and now. And believe it or not, it's on that note right there the comic comes to an end, everyone. And so that was Nightwing issue number 107. And overall, I thought this was a nice little change of pace from the regular superhero comics we normally get. Hats off to Taylor too for reincorporating all this stuff from the very controversial Rick Grayson era of Nightwing comics. He didn't have to, but it seems that a lot of people actually liked the character of B, and here I think she's used to really good effect. Another interesting wrinkle added to this mission is that Nightwing was forced to abandon Oracle's help because B didn't want her hearing or seeing any of the hold secrets. Is she just being overly traditional or paranoid, or is there something actually much deeper at the heart of this secret society of sailors? I can't say for certain, but what it's worth, I really enjoy 
enjoyed this one. It was action-packed, it was funny, and it's also just really cool to see a character like Nightwing so taken out of his element and put on water. They should really do it more often with heroes. Too often do they really get stuck in one place. Overall, I think I'd feel comfortable giving this one another 8 out of 10. Good stuff. Can't wait to see how the rest of this arc ends up shaking out. Hey there everyone, it's your old pal Cape Jewel again, thanking you so much for watching to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, why not check out my Amazon link down in the description. Yes, that's right, the Cape Jewel channel officially has its own Amazon storefront now. You can pick up a comic or anything else for that matter, and if you did, you'd really be helping me in the channel. So with that out of the way, everyone, I will see you again next time. Bye bye